Hello guys, so why does nearly every femon love victimhood or is a victim of some kind? And who is this victimhood of theirs pointed to? Well, it isn't other femons because as we know, femons are pretty cold-blooded. They don't have any feelings for really anybody but themselves. No, being the victim is pointed at men, males, who will have sympathy. Give this femon some attention and will also weaken the man towards that femon too. Now you don't have to go far to look at all the victimhood that the femons are playing. There's loads in the paper, you just take a quick look. Loads online. It's really just another ploy of the femon. They can't really seem to do anything without deceiving and being open and honest about something. They're playing the damsel in distress. And they know that men love to come to the rescue of a damsel in distress. But of course, as usual, the femons don't really have any sort of reality. They're playing it way too much, overplaying it all the time. And men aren't falling for it now. Men see that maybe she wasn't the victim after all. It's just another way of the femons deflecting blame. Not willing to take the responsibility for what they have done. Just run through quickly in your mind how many men might be in prison because the femon has played the victim when she wasn't the victim at all. She was the instigator. In fact, she was a perpetrator. So men out there stop falling for the victimhood. It's yet another scam by the femons. You ever notice that uh, after 10, 15 years of marriage and they get divorced and in the courts, the femons always portrayed as the victim. The man's been abusive or controlling or he's threatened her in some way. The femons use victimhood because it works. It takes any investigating eyes away from them and on to the perpetrator. More supposed perpetrator. Fortunately, a lot of men, because the femons have played the victim card so much, are seeing through all that. A lot of men have also seen through their crocodile tears as well. Femons are really manipulators. They can't fight men at their own level, because a man's brain is far too organized and logical, and they will lose. So they have to fog the man's brain up. For those guys are still dating and having to deal with these femons, you be careful and watch out for this one. They're very, very good at it. That is all. Goodbye.